Boomer, soon everybody, my name's Harry James. There are now two, officially two, new coaches in the Big 12 family. Our Sooners now have Lincoln Riley as the new head ball coach. Didn't really see that one coming. Came, come, came kind of as a curveball. One that didn't come as a curveball is that Texas has a new head coach. And it's their good old Texas boy, Tom Herman. We'll preview the University of Texas. And what Herman has coming back. Next, only right here, Boomer Sooner 1982. Don't go away! Welcome back to the show, everybody. My name's Harry James. Our dreaded rivals of the Texas Longhorns. We usually play them in Dallas, which is a neutral sight game, of course, if you will, at their state fair. But their home is normally in Austin, Texas, where we find, of course, the Texas Longhorns. DKR Stadium. Daryl K. Royal Stadium, named after a former Sooner, by the way. Texas last year finished with five and seven overall record, three and six in law in league play of the Big Twelve. That tied them with Baylor and Texas Tech in league play with a three and six and six best in the conference record. Their last game they played, since there's no bowl game for Texas, the last game they played was a regular season game against Texas Christian in Daryl K. Royal. And lost 31 to 9. Uh, TCU, however, wasn't as bad as people think. Finishing with a 6 and 7 record, just a game under 500, under uh, 500, and also a game under 500 at 4 and 5 in Big 12 play. That finished them fifth in the conference of the Big 12. Their head coach is Tom Herman, entering his first year at Texas, helping him get the the T back in Texas. A couple of players uh, will start offensively. Number seven, Garrett Bouchelle, doing his thing, passing for 2,958 total yards last year to go with 21 touches and just 11 interceptions last year for Texas. While the Horns try to balance their offense a little bit, more like uh, Baylor does, Baylor did when they had Art Bryles. So try, uh, helping them keep a little bit of balance involved, number 25, Christopher Brown, Warren, and number 21, Kyle Porter for Texas. We'll start with 25, Chris Warren. Yeah, it's Chris Warren, the third generation. Third. He rushed... For uh, He actually had 62 attempts last year to go with 336 yards and three touchdowns for Texas last year. While they also had number 21, Kyle Porter, do a little bit of the carries. He got 46 of them, to, uh, ran for 206 total yards, didn't have a touchdown on his record last year. Helping him to keep things afloat in the air would be number three, Amari Foreman, and number six, Devin Den uh Durant, uh, Durvany. We'll start with number three, Amari Foreman. Amari had 34 receptions last year for Texas to go with 420 yards on the air 
and three touchdowns in the air. Well, number 21, well, uh, number six, I'm sorry, Devin uh, Derveny had 20 receptions last year, 200, uh, 412 yards in the air to go with three touchdowns last year in the air from Texas. Their defense, a little bit solid, pretty good. You got to be at least solid to play in this league. And they were pretty good last year, um, consistent, considering uh, their offensive uh, numbers. Uh, 45, Anthony Wheeler. And number 46, Malik Jefferson, trying to put the T, though, back in Texas D. Uh, Anthony Wheeler doing that with 63 total tackles last year. Did force two fumbles. Zero, however, force uh, fumbles recovered. And interceptions at zero also. They also have number 46, Malik Jefferson, who had 59 total tackles last year. A forced fumble, zero fumbles recovered, and zero INTs. Their head coach, Tom Herman, 1997 grad from uh, Colonial Lutheran University. Uh, coaching history, 2015 and 2016. He's at the University of Houston, 2017, of course, this year at Texas. His coaching record at Houston, though, was pretty good. 28-4 and four with an 84% winning percentage. Uh, their postseason record, 1-0 and oh under Herman. Of course, the one win came against Florida State. Houston did their lose their bowl game last year, but that was after Herman had left for Texas. So that doesn't go on his record book. Uh, the divisional play uh, for Texas divisional conference titles since 2000. 01, 02, 05, 08, and 09. Regular conference titles. There's two of them. They got them in 2005 and beat Nebraska in Cowboy Stadium back in 2009. Texas is supposed to be good, uh, or at least a little better, you would hope. We'll see early how much improved this Texas team is, because just like Oklahoma, we have a hard non-conference uh, roadie, as does Texas, as I believe they go to USC this year. We'll see what they're made of real quick. I don't know if it's at USC, or uh, there's one other one that they have, I'm pretty sure, at Cal. One of the two, I'm sure. Uh, we'll see. All right, guys. Well, um, thanks for watching. Um, and um, boomer sooner, everybody. Take care and uh, keep on hitting Texas. That's not hard to do if you're a sooner fan. Boomer sooner, everybody. Take care.